Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation. x to the power of x to the power of 8 equals 4 to the power of 4. And in this video, we'll be solving for the value of x. Now, what can we do if we're confronted with this kind of equation? Our impulse tells us that uh, we make the base the same as its exponent, right? Considering the left-hand side, the base is x and the exponent is x to the power of a. So what about the right-hand side of the equation? The base is 4 and the exponent is 4. Its exponent mirrors its base. Since our subject here is x, so we focus our attention on, on the left-hand side of the equation. So our aim here now is to make the base look the same as its exponent x to the power of 8 that's the whole exponent and the base here is x so we make it a point that it will look the same way as its exponent so what we have to do is make the base raised to the power of 8 to make the base look the same way as its exponent all right let's do it so we have x to the power of x to the power of 8 equals 4 to the power of 4 so from here now then, is we raise the equation into to power 8. Since our aim here is the base to look the same way as its exponent, x to the power of 8. Alright, so left side now then is that x to the power of x to the power of 8. And that is raised to the power of 8 equals 4 to the power of 4 to the power of 8. Take a look on the left hand side, x to the power of 8 and 8 are the same level exponent. So we can multiply this exponent together, likewise on here. So the equation now becomes x to the power of 8 times x to the power of 8. And the right hand side, 4 to the power of 8 times 4 is 32. This part right here, we use the formula that is base a raised to exponent m raised to exponent n is equal to a raised to m times n. Or this uh, can be written the same way as a raised to the power of n times to the power of n. And in here, if you notice, this exponent right here interchange same way on here so uh, n and m switch places if you notice that so that's what happened on this one right here now the left hand side can be written the same way as x to the power of 8 raised to the power of x to the power of 8 equals 4 raised to 32 and 32 can be written the same way as 2 times 16 so 16 times 2 is 32. So we have that on here. And now we focus our attention on the left hand side. The base is now the same as its exponent, x to the power of 8. And what's going to happen on the right hand side? It should be the same way. So we're going to have the, uh, the base mirror or it look exactly as its exponent. So now we have just... Uh, converted 32 into 2 times 16 since 2 times 16 is 32 our aim here now is to make the base the same as its exponent so we focus our attention on this 4 to the power of 2 times 16 now this can be written the same way as 4 is squared raised to 16 power the right hand side can be written now as 4 squared is 16 so this is the base and its exponent is 16 so now the base is the same as its exponent 16 to the power of 16 and we have the left hand side x to the power of 8 raised to the power of x to the power of 8 so likewise on left hand side the base is exactly the same as its exponent. So from here now, 
based on comparison, or we have exponent formula that is a to the power of a equals b to the power of b. In here, by direct comparison or correspondence, we have this a, therefore, is equal to b. So our equation x to the power of a is equal to 16. And in here, to get the value of x, all we have to do is uh, raise the whole equation with the uh, reciprocal of exponent 8. The reciprocal of 8 is 1 over 8. So to get rid of that 8 on x, so we have here now, raise the whole equation to 1 over 8. So x to the power of 8 raised to 1 over 8 equals 16 raised to 1 over 8. Or this can be written the same way as the 8th root of 16. And this is an even root. So this means this is, we have two roots over here, positive and negative, root of 16. So the left-hand side, so we have here now 8 times 1 over 8. This is canceled out. So we have x is equal to positive and negative 8th root of 16. Or this can be written the same way as positive or negative. 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4. And this is raised to 1 over 8. Here now is we can simplify that plus minus 4 and 1 over 8. So these are both the same exponent. So 4 divided by 8 is, that is 1 half. So it is now 2 to the power of 1 half. Or x can be written the same way as positive negative is square root of 2. So that is now our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel and for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.